Hey guys, Mark Quartz Fishing. One of the questions I get asked a lot is about how far to run your baits behind your Canon downrigger balls. Well, here's my philosophy on it. For example, on a shallow diving bait, this happens to be a shallow diving number seven flicker shad or a stick bait like a hit stick, something like that. Those baits I tend to run a little bit further behind the ball, especially in a clear water situation where I know that the fish are ball shy. So those baits I'll run anywhere from 15 to 50 foot behind the downrigger and that gets it back away from that downrigger ball. Now in a situation where I'm running a little bit deeper diving bait, such as a number seven flicker shad or a number nine flicker minnow, what I'll actually do is run those leads a little bit shallower or shorter behind the balls. And the reason being is the whole key to downrigger fishing is keeping those baits in the strike zone where I'm marking those fish. And I can actually track my downrigger balls on my Hummingbird Electronics and know where those baits are at all times. So in a situation with those deeper baits, maybe I'm gonna run those baits only 10, 15 foot behind the ball. That way it doesn't have that dive curve to get down to the bottom. I want to keep those baits a foot or so off the bottom, run my downrigger ball down 29 foot. If I'm targeting 30, 31, that bait's going to have two, three foot of dive. That'll keep me right in the strike zone.